If you're looking to be quoted in big magazines, websites, articles, there's a new way that these people are finding their sources to then quote inside of the articles and you can leverage this inside of your own business as well. So if you're looking to be quoted, we no longer have to sit around and wait for people to find us. It used to be that people would come and look for the big names in the industry, people who were very well spoken, very well known, putting out lots of content, doing lots of things, being on stages, speaking at conventions. They were looking for the biggest names and then they would go knock on their digital doors and ask for a quote or ask for an interview to do these articles. Now, when they need supplemental content for the creations they are writing, they're looking for things that are going to be easy. But why? Because in the past, when they had to knock on the digital door, send the email, send the text, make the phone call, they would have to wait around for that person to then craft something and send it in. And that could take a really long time. They may or may not get it. So instead of coming to knock on my door now and ask me to have a conversation about a topic. Now they're going to the internet. They're looking on YouTube. They're looking on TikTok. They're looking on Instagram on people already speaking in this area. And they're specifically looking for people talking about that topic. And if you already have content out about that topic, now you've spoken on it and you have quotable content. So now these people just have to listen to your YouTube videos or your TikToks or your Instagram reels, see what you've said, and they can pull a direct quote out of that video and use it in their article and credit you. Now, sometimes these people will come knocking on your door saying, hey, we're going to use you in an article. Can you expand upon this? But more often than not, they're literally just quoting you and leaving it at that. They're not even telling you what happened. So if you don't have your Google alerts set up, that's something you absolutely need to get set up right now. We've done videos on it. I'll link them for you. And you want to make sure that you have as much content out about your topics as possible because these people are going into TikTok, they're going into YouTube, and they're pulling really good quotes. So as you're making content, short form or long form, be looking specifically for your SEO. Pay attention to the titles that you're using on this, the captioning or the description, and then have sound bites within your videos, especially up front. Load those in the front of your videos, especially the longer form videos, so that when someone is coming to look at a topic, to gain information and knowledge about a topic, they can get some of those sound nuggets, those little sound bites, and use them in their articles up front. They're going to stick around to watch more of your content, to see a different content that you put out, and potentially to reach out to you to then expand upon it. So I have been quoted in big magazines, big websites and articles without ever having been contacted because they listened to my videos, pulled a quote, and they put it inside of their articles, and they wrote around what they were already doing and inserted me into that. Some of those people have then reached out and said, hey, we're doing it article on this, we pulled this quote from you from this video that you did. Can we talk more about that? And that gives them content that they can use because it's already ready to go. They can just grab it and use it however they want, which is debatable ethics wise, but it is something that they're going to be doing. But it also gives them the opportunity to get more information either before the article is published or after the article is published. I've had people come to me and say, hey, this is about to come out. We'd like to quote you. Is this okay? Can you talk more about this? I've also had people say, hey, here's the finished article that we've put up. We quoted you from your video and linked back to your video in this one. But do you want to add anything? And they asked me to add in or to expand upon it, at which point I would explain what I had said in that quote, send that back to them, and they can just add that into the article or change the article dramatically to fit with having a deeper conversation with me. So if you want to be quoted, no longer are people waiting to see if you can pull out a good quote. They're looking for the good quotes and then they're going to let you maybe expand upon it later. So use your content as a way to convey your message with those sound bites so that they can use them as quotable content inside of what they are writing and link back to you and then have that deeper conversation if they want. Having that front loaded in your content and ready to go means you're going to get quoted in more places because they don't have to worry about whether or not you're reliable. They already have the content that they need and they can move forward quickly. That's going to help them write a lot faster and it's going to endear you to them a lot better. So if you want the opportunity to be quoted, get content out there talking in sound bites about these valuable topics so that people can find you and leverage you as part of the articles that they're writing. Drop your questions down below and follow along for more daily tips helping you navigate the world of being an entrepreneur so this can be your most profitable and successful year ever with the least amount of stress and overwhelm. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.